Angelina Jolie had only given hints of her potential when she took on the HBO made for cable movie Gia. The tragic true story of a heroin addicted supermodel wasn't glamorous, but Angelina immersed herself in the role. I generally, when I read a script and I'm scared to play the role, I know it's the right one. And I was scared to death of Gia because I thought it was going to just expose too much to myself about myself and, and I didn't think I could do it and I thought it was important to, to do right. People looked at her as, wow, who is this? Not the daughter of John Voight, not the person who's done a few roles in, in, in minor movies and things, but wow, what a performance. And they knew then, I think, that she was going to be a major star, that she was the real thing. Her portrayal of Gia earned a Golden Globe Award and an Emmy nomination. It means that all the hard work we all put in and things that, you know, we did that we thought meant something and they told me at first that, you know, people don't really watch those things and you shouldn't worry, but I love them and we all thought they were important, so we did them and it, and people watched and it was great. So I'm, and I'm here with my brother and it's, it's great, it's fun. Angelina also appeared on the big screen in 1998. She was part of an impressive ensemble cast for Playing by Heart. Even alongside high-profile talent like Sean Connery and Gillian Anderson, she held her own. Usually there are one or two very interesting characters and the rest of them just are there to, to fill in their story. You know, and this, you've got like ten people with, with very full stories, so that's pretty, that's pretty amazing. Angelina built on her success in 1999. Her first film that year was Pushing Tin, a comedy about a rivalry between two air traffic controllers. On the set, Angelina met Billy Bob Thornton. I think she has even said that she's very emotional and that's just the place that it's easy for her to fall in love. She's very vulnerable when she makes a movie, plays a character. And Billy Bob was just so, such an exotic creature to her, which, you know, she is herself. So I think he really appealed to her and they just connected. Pushing Tin also co-stars Oscar nominee Kate Blanchett and John Cusack. Angelina would describe this as one of the happiest sets she'd ever worked on. Occasionally you get on those films that are just heaven and everybody on this is just, you know, Kate Blanchett is just funny and brilliant and so nice to be around and, you know, it's nice to have a girl get along and it's nice and, and, uh, and John Cusack is just, he's so wild and yet he's so just sincere and he's such a He's such a great person. Next, Angelina teamed up with Denzel Washington for The Bone Collector. It's always good to act opposite actors, you know, like him. And so uh, I think that he brought a lot to the table for her and, uh, and, and brought her game up in that picture, too. Washington plays a quadriplegic forensic expert who comes out of retirement to help a street cop, Angelina Jolie. The underlying love story was just one of the elements that drew Angelina to the project. There were a lot of things. I mean, one, it was just one of the first scripts in a long time that I couldn't put down. When I read it, I was really into it. I was really into it. Um, and I wanted to know what was going to happen next, and I thought that was, you know, I liked it. And I couldn't forget it. Um, and it scared me to death in my apartment by myself when I read it. The Bone Collector gave Angelina box office clout. Her next film would give her something even better. Girl Interrupted had been in development for six years, but when Winona Ryder signed on, it quickly went into production. With the starring role cast, the producers concentrated on finding an actress for the supporting role of Lisa. Every actress wanted that role, you know, of a certain age, wanted that role uh, that she had in that, in that film. And I think they picked her because she has this dangerous quality. They knew it would work. And, uh, and she, just, she just blew everybody off the screen, including Winona Ryder. Finding Angelina Jolie was really a huge breakthrough for us, because it really made the whole movie work. Yeah, with all those girls, I found, I just, I just was connected to somebody, and I needed that so much. Angelina and Winona Ryder play young women in a private mental hospital. I read the book five years before, and, and I underlined everything that had to do with my character, and, and I love Lisa. I love, there was something in what she needed to say and what she was missing that I, that I needed. Angelina's performance earned her an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress. My dad came in and just said he was uh, proud of me, and, and he thought I was a good actress. And to hear that from your father, I know it's, you know, it's just, for him to think I'm, I'm a good actress is kind of a big deal to me. So I was, 
Uh, that was all I needed, and he loved me, and that, that's all that mattered. Angelina's dad, John Voigt, had won an Oscar for coming home when she was two. I've never actually held an Oscar before. It's, it's quite amazing. <laughs> no, my, my, dad, uh, my dad's mother had his in a goldfish bowl or something um, on the mantelpiece in New York, and it was like way up and something, and I've never held it. You know, you grow up with it, you just kind of figure it's the strange thing in Grandma's house. Angelina's next movie choice was a surprise. The car theft adventure, Gone in 60 Seconds, produced by action guru Jerry Bruckheimer. There's something very clean about his films. They're not offensive. They're the good guys against the bad guys and the team coming together, you know, and, the, and, the, and love and uh, brothers and, and all that. So they're really nice messages in his films. The script for Gone in 60 Seconds found its way to Angelina while she was working on Girl Interrupted. I read it while I was in the mental institution. <laughs> and the first page was a list of 60 cars and 60 women's names. And, um, and I was curious. And uh, I liked what everything stood for and everybody stood for. And I just thought it was, was going to be fun. And I wanted to uh, learn how to steal a car and drive a Ferrari. Angelina married Billy Bob Thornton just a month before Gone in 60 Seconds opened. They were inseparable. I'm just madly, madly in love and, and so happy and finally, you know, I found home and it's him. Gone in 60 Seconds was her first film to top the $100 million mark at the box office, but it wouldn't be her last.